Hi guys, I'm so excited. My Porsche 935 is almost done. I just got an email from Porsche. They said the car will be done next week. It's gonna be going through some testing and I should have it right before Christmas. How about that? So what is the Porsche 935? So it's a remake of the 1978 to 1980 uh, Porsche 935, which won a lot of races. It's also known as a Moby Dick. The new Porsche 935 is based on the chassis of GT2 RS, which I used to have one, 700 horsepower, except it's got a brand new body and giant wing, and it's a stripped down to bare minimum necessity to make this car an absolute rocket. As you guys know, I used to own a, a GT2 RS, absolute monster. I can't imagine how much crazier it could get with this 935 being a stripped down to bare minimum and doesn't even have a passenger seat, which I'm gonna get to that. And it comes with a lot of options in terms of design and they even offer the full carbon fiber body. But of course, this car is such a legendary car known as the Moby Dick. And I went with the classic Martini. So this is how my car is gonna look identical to this. And I'm so excited. I'm gonna be getting it in the next few weeks. So I was supposed to go to Portugal and test drive my car and also get, uh, you know, trained how to drive this beast. But unfortunately I had a conflict on my schedule and, and I wish I was there because I'm looking at some of the content guys are sending me. They're having a blast. <laughs> car in a few weeks so I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it so back to what I said it doesn't have a passenger seat guess what I ordered one and let's go open it up in this box is my passenger seat for my Porsche 935 at the cost of ten thousand dollars I couldn't say no just in case Layla wants to go for a ride all right let's open it up Am I supposed to assemble this? This looks like a baby car seat. The heck? Empty boxes. I'll leave these over here. Aha. This is the seatbelt harness. Ooh, this is a big seat. So it must be light. Oh. Wow, this looks amazing. It looks like a giant baby car seat. Ooh, but look at that carbon fiber. Wow, pretty cool. Wow, that is pretty big though, huh? I didn't realize my head was so big. <laughs> Hey, it's not that heavy. Pretty light. I love that carbon fiber. And yeah, it's gotta weigh about probably 20, 30 pounds. Now I know why Porsche doesn't send you a passenger seat with their cars. Extra weight that don't need to be there if you're racing your car on the track. But such a beautiful seat. And super comfy too, a lot of cushions. So when you're pulling those G's on the corners, you wanna have those cushions so you don't break your ribs. So I was supposed to be in Portugal, taking a drive of my 935 and also get you know, trained on how to drive this piece. Unfortunately, I had a conflict with my schedule, I couldn't make it. 
but some of the guys are sending me some footages. This is not one of them. This is just uh, a footage I found on the YouTube. And, uh, but I'm gonna share some of that with you too. <laughs> Crazy! Just that sound and look at all the batteries, everything exposed, your engine, it just so raw and obviously they got this net over there so you don't get all the components flying into your face as you do two G's on the corner. This is insane. I love that steering wheel as well. This is just crazy, crazy car. Here it is, welcome to the new Porsche 935. Now then, they're only making 77 of these cars worldwide. So that's the exact design I picked for my car. One of 77 in the world. This is the Martini, this is the classic Martini. And I think it's just a legendary to go with the classic Martini is what the car was really known for. Lights, weight, more downforce, uh, styling to uh, tip the hat to the original 935 race car and it's in the martini livery which is with i would say almost without doubt the most iconic livery that was to grace the original 935. okay long sleeves on that is a rule and regulation for racing up the hill uh you'll notice say no more massive wing a lot of downforce and a lot of carbon fiber literally everything look at that cage and i love it's that steering wheel incredible Inside, there are elements which are so familiar to Porsche, particularly if you spend time This is still running the seven speed, incredibly slick twin clutch PDK. Wait a minute. Okay, I know all about PDK system. That PDK transmission is ridiculous. I can't help but to downshift. I feel like I'm there. Man, after watching this and seeing all these other videos about the 935, I am so excited to get mine in just a couple of weeks. Stand by for the delivery of my 935. I hope you enjoy this video and the warm up of my delivery of 935. My first job, however, was Kmart. Collecting shopping carts, mopping the floors, and I was clerk 407, they gave me all the dirty work. And that was another learning curve, and I learned a lot. And after one year, I was able to raise enough money to buy my first car, which was better than my dad's car. So I always had passion for cars, as you can tell. But after a year, I realized I'm never gonna be wealthy working for somebody else. So I decided to go and become my own boss. I didn't know what to do, so I started with selling peanuts door to door. And I did that for six months. I failed because I didn't have a health permit, but I saved $20,000 in that six months selling peanuts door to door. And I went off to buy a gas station. And unfortunately, it got scammed. I lost all my money. After that, I worked for Rent and Hire for a few months, saved money again, and I went and opened the supermarket. After a year, I failed. So one day, I'm sitting in court dealing with all the crap you know, creditors and people I owed money to when I owned the supermarket. And my landlord pulled me to the side and said, you remind me of me when I was in my teenage years. Came to Orange County with no money and I started with one small tiny building in real estate. And somehow he had amassed $700 million in real estate holdings. And that's when I had the aha moment. I need to figure out my way of building wealth in commercial real estate. Flash forward 28 years later, I'm a landlord. I've been able to amass every car that I dreamed of, over $30 million worth of cars, $33 million mansion at Pelican Hill. More importantly, I've been able to give back to my kids the life that I never had and my parents for all their struggles. I retired them many years ago buying them a ranch. They're living their dreams and give back to charity that means a lot to me. I have recently pledged a million dollars to the Autism Center at Chalk Foundation. I'm super proud to be able to give back to many kids and many families. So another one of my passions is mentorship, which is why I'm excited to share with you today. 
A lot of my success has been through trial and errors. Over the past 28 years, had I had a mentor early on, I would have saved a lot of money and lots of time and avoid a lot of pitfalls. So lucky for you, I'm giving you the opportunity to be mentored by me. I created something I wish I had when I got started. We call it Manny Koshbin's Millionaire Mentorship.